up guys? It's Kamalis back again. Second night in a row. Um, feeling pretty good. Went to the chiropractor today or yesterday? Yesterday. Um, so my back's kind of bothering me because that's what happens when you go to the chiropractor sometimes. Excuse me while I fix the headphone cable going across my legs here. Um, yes, yeah, so like my back is pretty sore. Um, it's having some pretty serious issues. So like when I went there, uh, had me like lay down on the table. And he measured my legs. My right leg was an inch shorter than my left. So, <laughs> so when you're adjusting that much, it can cause some interesting muscle issues later on. But uh, it's good to be here. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna continue our Terra Tech uh, gameplay here. Um, again, it's early access through Steam. No clue on when the full release will come out. But it's pretty fun. I enjoyed it so far. I played it for three and a half hours yesterday on stream. So uh, that was pretty good. If you want to see that, uh, if you want to see that stream, like the beginning part of it, of my playthrough here, uh, it should still be on Twitch for the next 29 days. So you can go view it in my recent broadcasts. Otherwise, I do upload all of my streams onto Twitch as well. So if you want, you can go to my or, uh, my YouTube. I upload them all on YouTube. Uh, so if you want, you can go to my YouTube channel. Um, it's linked down below the video player, so you can just click on that link. It'll take you to my channel. You can subscribe there. Check out all my videos. Um, I also just released an entire series for my whole playthrough of the Talos Principle. So those videos are about an hour long each. I tried to keep them as close to that as possible. There was a couple episodes where I forgot, so those were like an hour twenty. I apologize, but um, that was pretty good too. So those are over there, and you can go check those out as well as all my other videos. So, um, all right, well, let's get into it now. So yesterday I was last night. My goal was to just make it to level three GSO, which I succeeded in doing. So I wish there was like a full overworld map. Hey look, there's one person streaming TerraTech. What happens if I click this? <laughs> hey look, it's me guys. It's me. Hey guys, it's me. Right there. Alright. So. Okay. Um, I wish there was a way for you to... Like, pull up an overworld map, because that would be sweet. That would be really nice. But I'm just going to go back over here, hopefully to these bases over here. I believe these are the right ones. So go over here, dump all this stuff off, which should give me a ton of profit. Oh yeah, that looks like my area over here, sort of. Uh no, this is this is not it. This is not it. Uh, oh, there's another mission over there. I'm gonna not worry about Crafty Mike for now. I need to figure out how to get back to my massive base. I probably like should have written these numbers down. I'm pretty sure I'm just going in the completely wrong direction. But I should have written wrote the numbers down for the base that I had because I have a pretty sweet money making base. That's not it. Okay, we're just gonna head this way. Ah, this is it over here. Here we go. What? No, this is where I just was. Gosh dang it. Okay. I meant 
this way. We're gonna go this way. But not towards Crafty Mike, because reasons. <clears throat> Here we go. So, I think this is just one of my random outlying posts. Gen point. Okay, so pretty sure I need to go this way. Yes, I do. I need to go this way. These numbers are looking better now. Yeah, they definitely need to like introduce a, an overworld map in the game. I think that should be like one of the next things that they work on. Cause like the mini map is great, but it just doesn't doesn't quite cut it. Doesn't quite cut it. My st these things are all just still sitting here, man. Okay. <laughs> Do do over here. Give that thing some stuff. These some things back now. Oh yeah, that's not gonna... Okay, um... We'll put that there. Alright, let's go pick this up. Hopefully this thing can, like, Oh yeah, I can drop stuff off. That's good. Oh gosh. What are those doing over there? Alright, 8,000. So, let's just see what I can build here. With what I have. Gruntle Guard AI module. Just so cow catcher plow. <laughs> Riser wheels. I'm thinking about switching to these. These kinds of wheels. Dirt wheel. I feel like the riser wheels. Help me turn better. Hub wheel. What is this? I don't know what that does. Cannon, lasers, finger battery. Oh, that's the wireless charger. Unknown block. This block needs to be discovered before more information is available. Block Magnet Mini. Interesting. Conveyor, filter, alternator, conveyor. Oh, okay. So that's like a filter and a conveyor type thing at the same time. So I assume you can like have multiple things branch off from it. Finery Scrapper. Sure. Little lift aerofoil. Oh yeah, that thing. Okay. I need that wireless charger. I 
Yeah, so here's the current state of my vehicle though, if you haven't watched the first episode. Drive away for a second. So I can do this. So, got plenty of firepower. We're in like zero danger of getting like probably being overwhelmed by one or two enemies. Okay, just look at that. Plenty of firepower. I got stuff on the side, stuff on the back. Got these too late. Oh, no, I don't have one on the side. I forgot about that. So, but if they start circling around to the side of me, I got some stuff here too, because this thing does not turn well at all. It's pretty slow when it's trying to turn, so. Um. I'm just gonna charge my batteries up quick. It's like I'm not in danger of losing, but um, I can still take some pretty serious damage, and I would like to avoid that at all costs as much as I can. So, I'm gonna let these batteries charge up, and then I'll stick everything back in there, and then we'll go take care of those guys because they have a question mark on them which means I assume that means that there's like a new block there or something so These things do not last long once I stick them back in. Which is why I really want that wireless charger. Geocore license upgrade 2. Sweet. Upgraded your license to grade 2. The following blocks can now be purchased at the trading station or crafted with the fabricator. So I got more blocks. Sweet. Okay. Alright. I'm pretty sure... I was told that these do not despawn. So I'm gonna go get the uh the item pickup. It's like an item collector. I was told that it allows you to just like pick up items and collect them without having to like actually store them somewhere. I'm gonna go try using that. I'm just going to drive around these guys so I don't have to fight them, even though I definitely could, but... Yeah, so on my, uh, on my little craft here, though, I have three healing bubbles and two shields. Um, I purchased two of each, and I found the third healing bubble, so, I mean, 
That's why I have it there. It's not for any exact particular reason, but... Alright, so I have to go fight those guys, so I'll... Take this, these things off again. Stop rolling away, thank you. So we'll recharge these again. Wait, oh wait, no, I think he said I get the wireless charger from this guy, not the part collector. That kind of sucks. Oh well, whatever. Because I want the parts collector and the wireless charger. Like, those are my two goals that I want. So I'm hoping that I'll get that eventually. Or soon. Come on, charge up. So these batteries, oh, now they're, okay, there we go. Like, they're not like, going down in charge. Oh, I gotta get up the hill. Gotta make sure he doesn't run into me. Core fabricator. Oh, okay. That's not what I wanted. Oh, yeah, storage block. That's what I was going for. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll fight. We'll fight. Let's do this. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, that went real well for you, didn't it? That's another... Oh, that's not gonna do me any good. Put that guy up there. Put that guy there. Um, eh. That'll work. Alright, bubble shields and stuff are almost dead again, so that's cool. What the? Alright. Come here, little guy. good because that means I can do this. There we go. Oh 
oh shoot, except for the fact that it's not going to do me any good. I guess I'll just do this. Because every time I pull these off... do this. So I'm definitely not going to put those there. Oh, sun's going down. Hurry up and charge these. How far away is this? 869. Jelly Harvester 1. Mine rubber jelly. charger so I don't have to sit here it sucks if your stuff runs out at night too because then your solar panel thing here doesn't work because it's night but yeah so then you just kind of have to hope like you don't get stuck in a really bad situation storage block. Not really. Oh gosh. is quick. There we go. Ah, still. Thing is so big. Sources. Oh. Okay. Guess it's really bad to shoot the rocks. Maybe not. I didn't realize these little red things came from the rocks. What's this? Plumbite seam? Okay. Look at all my resources. Gonna drive through here. 
Hey look, another desert. that do its thing. Let's harvest some more stuff here. Ooh. Gotta kill this guy. This is fantastic. Okay, so how do I hold Alt or deselect the current block? Use grab mode. How do I select? Okay, but how do I attach it? Or where do I attach this? Okay. Oh, this thing's so heavy. Stranded tech in your position. Find it and report back. 940? 
Oh wait, that's in the completely wrong direction. Okay, well, you're gonna have to deal with it for now, buddy. Because I definitely need to go back and dump all this stuff off. I'll come back though, but... the right way. I don't think this this is definitely not the right way. Uh, okay. This is the way it just came from. The guy blew up. Look more desert. Okay. Hopefully this guy doesn't chase me. Alright. These two look promising. on this hill. Okay, let me, uh... Come on. This is why I need those risers. to take my entire thing apart. Yeah, go ahead, take those. This is going to be bad. Need a way to like get a boost. It's right there. It's right there. <sighs> okay, well, I'll do this then. Hopefully, I don't 
run into it, and that's like my only avenue of escape. Oh, crap. Here, there. Uh, dang it. that won't work. Well, I guess it'll okay. We'll put that there. Oh, don't get stuck. Oh, yo, oh, you got to be Oh, this is not the right place. Dang it. Hey, Golden Gamer. All right. Hey, thanks for the follow. This is not the base that I don't want to be at. <sighs> Can I put this in there? Oh yeah, look at that. Go ahead. There we go. 
Oh, why are these... Oh, because it's backwards. I have uh, quite a few bases. There we go. So far. Um, I mean, none of them are like built up a lot. But uh, yeah, this is not my only one. Yeah, this is just, this one here is just one that I just like found out in the middle of nowhere. Over here, I might as well charge up my batteries. Grab this guy. Um, that's sort of what I'm in the process of doing. I just got this thing here, which, like, after a little bit, it will create a black hole and collect all the parts that are lying on the ground uh, automatically for me. So, I just got that. Dang it. Yeah, I'm stuck on this hill again. Try to use a steam generator. I have one. I have not used it. Um, just because I really didn't want to have to put an entire steam generator on my vehicle. Because that takes up four units of space, whereas the solar guy only takes up one. So. Yeah, so I just got the black hole storage. So now it should be easier for me to carry parts because before that was my issue is like I just had um, I had like so many just tiny different bases just lying around and none of it did me any good because I couldn't like transport them anywhere. Yeah, no, the uh, the steam generator takes care of it really quick. But, uh, like I said, it was just too, like, too hard to try and carry around compared to just the one. You stay away from my base. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. So here's my main base here. This is my main base. Uh, I'm gonna move you a little bit more. So I can heal this guy there. If I can. How close am I? Not close at all.
Last time you played, there was some sort of mo mobile selling cannon. Does it still exist? Um, mobile selling cannon. I was trying to think of like what that would be. Oh come on! Why can't I? Erg. Stick this here. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Yeah, mobile selling cannon. The Oh, you mean this thing right here? I have two of them, and then I have one in my storage. Can you use that while you're moving? Oh, I see what you're saying, Tango. Yeah, I don't know if I can use that while I'm moving. It'd be pretty sweet, though. it looks like. Just stick you there. Stick you there. Excuse me. Um, so here's a question. Should I just leave my base here right now? That is the question. Or should I like pick my whole base up and move it somewhere else? supposed to go in. Fine and still while moving it. So, but yeah, so that's like my question right now is though, like, should I pick my entire base up and move somewhere else, or is this a good area to just stay in? Uh, my vehicle is definitely like. Not meant for this.
should be it for the parts that were just laying around here. Because I don't think I would mind like moving my whole base to like, a different part of the desert. Like especially on the other side of these trees over here. Because a lot of my missions seem to be coming over there now. Let's see where that one goes. Yeah, that one's over there. That one's over there. This one's anywhere, so that one doesn't matter. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick this up, I'm going to go the other side of the hilly mountain area. Yeah, I guess we'll refine all of this while we can. before we leave. Alright, so I should just be able to like pull these few pieces off. The whole thing should just fall apart. What's that? What is this? Either of you know what this thing is? And what's the radius for the uh, solar charger? Like, how far away can a battery be before it doesn't charge it anymore? Or, uh, I guess just like, how do the game mechanics work on that? The amount of batteries that you're trying to charge doesn't seem to affect the time that it takes to charge them all, though. It seems to take just as long to charge one battery as it does to charge five with one solar charger.
Hey, here we go. Bunch of emeralds. So hard. This is not a good vehicle meant for just driving around. Extreme tops of the hills kind of go over ridge lines. Definitely works a lot better. Oh, come on, pick that up. Got some speed. Gonna make it over to Crafty Mike. Ew. In need of some oops. Plumrite jelly. Oh, stop taking my stuff. Stop taking my stuff. Alright, so plumrite jelly and rubber jelly. I don't know how to make those. Shoot this guy. When in doubt, consult the wiki. <laughs> yeah, that's true. How's it going, Eisenwolf? Alright. So for now, I'll just crash into that. Pick up this stuff, I'll go over to that base, dismantle it. Like there's some materials just hanging around over here. Oh yeah. Mm 
Okay. So we're gonna try this first. Stick that there. We'll see what comes out of here. Yeah, I just got this on sale from uh, the Steam Winter Sale. Ignean Crystal. Okay, that's not... It just disappeared. Okay, what is this? Rudian crystal, Rhodius capsule, Columbia ingot. Yeah, I got on the Steam Winter Sale. It was like thirteen ninety nine or something. A really good deal. I'm sure, we're gonna take that one off. problems. So my plan right now is just, you need to watch more streams and YouTube vids before you decide. Okay. Yeah, and it's uh, just, you know, I mean, or I guess you probably already know, but it's still in early development, so it's not complete yet. And no word as far as I know on when the full release will come out. But I mean, I'm having a pretty good time. I've already put in four and a half hours. I put three and a half hours in yesterday. Um, on stream. So if you want to watch some more, um, you can look at my previous broadcasts on my Twitch channel, or if you want, you can click the link down below to go to my YouTube channel, where I also post all of my Twitch videos. So you can go there and look through that if you want as well. And then that'll give you some more stuff. You got Astroneer. I've heard about that one, but I haven't uh, I haven't actually like watched any gameplay or anything from it. Not sure why that wasn't picking that stuff up. Holy crap, that guy is huge over there. Supposed to go in the go in the thing. There we go. There we go. I should check out what do you even do? Like I don't I know pretty much absolutely nothing about it. I've just seen it advertised on Steam. No, give me that oh.
probably going to build my base like right here next to this trading station. I think that would be a really good spot. Survival builder game. Okay. So, a little similar to this, just in the builder aspect, building creative part. I would say in Astroneer, though, that the, uh, the survival part is much different. Am I c correct in that statement? gonna go fight this guy once my batteries are charged. It's early access so it's occasionally derpy Price for early access. Yeah. Oh no. No. There we go. That was a mistake to try to drive over the top like that. like three batteries. Is this a battery? Oh yeah, more batteries. I like batteries. Come on, suck it up. Holy cow, look at all these batteries. guys quick. Oh, I still have shields. Oh wow, that guy is just gonna run right into me, isn't he? There you go, get wrecked. Oh gosh. Please don't die. It's also multiplayer via Steam with a limit of four people. It has a realistic limit of three until it's optimized better. Okay, cool. Yeah, that one was a little close. I definitely should have... I mean, if I wanted to guarantee that I wasn't gonna die on accident, I probably should have charged my batteries again, but... How's my cab doing? 
Oh, my cab's doing pretty good. Oh, I'm missing a cannon, though. Do I have one? How do I... Oh, I'm pretty sure I have to set this down first. Let's see if I have another cannon. I do. You watched an earlier stream. German guy who was working with level 10 tech. Wow. Yeah, I only have three of the starting one unlocked. And then I've only made it to level 2 on the other one that I've unlocked on the side of that, so... Alright, let's go build a base. Yeah, like I said, I only I've only put like four and a half hours in. You can build a base right here. This will be good. I just wish like you could go into a little bit of free camera mode so I could just like take this and then drop it here. And then like go into free camera, open up my inventory, and just like zoom out kind of over into this area to build the base, but alas, that is not an option. Yeah, experience noob. That's <laughs> that's probably a really good way of putting it. Static delivery cannon. That's what I want. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep it in this valley here, I guess. conveyors do I have? 'Cause it directions like so no what are you Refineries. Oh, oh, oh. 
Bad idea. There we go. So the goal is to have like an assembly line type thing. Where... Um, how fat, far will that extend? Not far enough, I don't think. Oh yeah, no, that's good. So I want to have like healing and shield stuff on the inside to protect the outside. Um, so maybe we move this down one more. Let's stick another solar panel in there. better to have the refineries facing each other the way that way inputs and outputs don't fight for stuff. I mean they shouldn't. Um if I'm understanding the game mechanics on this correctly, they should just go in here and come out here and then get pushed down the conveyor belt. Um but like if it can't go in here, it'll just keep going. I don't think it'll be an issue, but I mean, if it is, then you know, I'll, I'll fix it later, I guess. I haven't so put that there. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Very nice. Now we need to put some batteries in here. That one, this one is not within a shield, so put that one out. I'm trying to like keep stuff inside the shields and everything as best as possible. What is this? That's a geothermal generator. Anchored furnace generator. Well, that's another repair bubble. Um, ooh, I can use the computer. Here we go. So this will allow me to buy things like that. What does this do? AI module makes building turrets even easier. It will rotate a full 360 degrees and can shoot at any enemy text that it can spot. Okay. Excuse me. But I want to build another shield. There we go. 
and two more batteries. Wherever the hell that other one went. There we go. So we have two solar towers charging all these things. Should be okay. So next I need to do... Um, resource receivers. Just like that. And yeah, maybe one more. There we go, that should be good for now. Um, viewer in another stream mentioned that the geothermal unit was kind of buggy. Okay. Geocorp payload terminal. Geocorp picker collector. Um, I'm going to just make a second little base to the side here. Oh wait, I already have another solar generator, don't I? Don't want to buy one if I already have one. Yep. You. And this one will do the... I'm going to put my fabricator over here so it's a little off to the side so that way I can like start separating some of my things because I'm not really the best at the filter and I don't really want to have to try to mess with that. Shield bubble. There we go. Let's see. What else? Manufacturing. So, this is my fabricator. So, I'm going to need a silo. I'm trying to remember how. Um, Bob, or whatever his name was. All right. Knock the Croc was here. <laughs> nice name, dude. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, you re recently started to play Terratech again. They've added a lot. Good luck. Have fun. Thanks, man. Um, how long ago did you play it? Because I just got it from the Steam Winter Sale, so. I'll just stick that there for now. Collector. Thanks, Asin Wolf, for the follow. Wow, this thing just does that. Okay. Mm. I 
put another computer on over here, just in case we need it. Make a straight line of conveyors. <laughs> Two hours ago. Okay. I meant like, uh, like when was like the last time you played? Um, as in the long time ago part. Let's see here. Um. Five months? Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, then. I'm just gonna do this. Just stick this. Oh, come on. Can you, like, not go upside down? That would be fantastic. Why you gotta do this to me? There we go. Apparently you have to put two on there first. Then you attach the thing which grabs the resources and done. Okay, so add a refinery for advanced blueprints. Oh yeah. Okay, why are you putting that sideways? Oh my gosh, what is your problem, game? What the hell? Okay, and then eventually I'm just gonna like build a wall around all of this as well. I mean, just something that's big enough so they can't like, the enemies can't drive over it. And then it's also right next to a trading station if I absolutely have to go to the trading station. So I need to buy. add a refinery. I think I... no, I don't have any more refineries. But I need to buy more... filtered node silo. Interesting. That's what I'm looking for. These are 264 apiece. Holy crap. Then I'm going to have another conveyor come in from the side. Um, for the fabricator... Does it need... Like, the non-refined forms of stuff as well? Like, 
like just the raw materials or does it can it just use and only use like the actual refined stuff because if you have to use both then I'll have to put like just a regular raw resource uh, chain here so it can get onto here <laughs> better done by daylight um I don't know, it's fine. Look, I got I got my little cab light illuminating it. We'll be okay. Um, yeah, if it takes both raw and refined, then I'll have to put like the refinery over here, and then have try to dump off raw over here or something. That's kind of, that's mostly what I'm worried about, is having to like manually try to separate these things while it's, I mean you can see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, I have 12 thimble collectors on this thing. I mean I'm going to revamp this whole thing and like build myself a new vehicle, but yeah, it's just, this doesn't seem like something that would be easy to try to manually do. By the way, your mic cuts out, so it's kind of hard to understand what you're saying. Does it? Let me... Oops. There. I shut my noise gate off, so hopefully that'll fix it. How are the rest of the audio levels, though? Is there a good balance? Do I need to turn the overall volume down, the overall volume up? Let me know. I was like messing with it for like an hour before I jumped on stream today, so... Storage device. GSO scraper, what's this? Consume GSO blocks and break them down into their component resource chunks. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Excuse me. Um, maybe it's just you, sorry. That's okay, man. I mean, thanks for telling me, though, because I'd, I'd rather have people tell me and it, you know, just be them, rather than um, people not say a thing and it sounds horrible, so. Okay. The cell holds a single stack of one type of resource chunk to be used later. It will only take a single type of chunk, the first one it gets. Okay, that's kind of neat. The background game sounds are fine, not too soft, not too loud. Okay, cool. You've seen 3MO streaming at the same time. Yeah, it's kind of cool too, because like, when I first get... Oh, I don't want to buy this, what do you do? When I first get into the game, because I'm streaming, um, and I think it's a really cool feature that uh, the d the devs put in this game, but it shows how many people are currently streaming the game. Like, it'll pop up right here on the side. And then you can click on it, and it'll show all the streamers that are streaming the game. It's pretty sweet. And so, like, it shows myself when I log into the game, because I start the stream, and then I, like, click continue and load this game up. 
and so then it'll show up right on the side. And I click it, and then it's just my name's right there. It's like Mythical Malice is streaming this game. So it's pretty neat. Okay, I still need that refinery, so... Give me that refinery. You gonna try streaming soon? It, I I find it fun. Um, it's entertaining because I like playing these games anyways. Um, so for me, it's more of just the fact that like I can talk to other people while I'm doing it. Cause you know I have my friends that I play with on Xbox, um, you know, Halo, Destiny, um, Titanfall 2. Like I've been playing a lot of that. Um, but I like a lot of single player stuff, or at least campaign type things, which on console, you know, doesn't happen very often. Huge fan of Mass Effect. Um, so, oh, don't know if you guys heard, but CES today, down in Las Vegas, March 21st, Mass Effect Andromeda's coming out. So, like, three months. Pretty hyped for that. But, uh, yeah, so just, like, getting to, you know, talk to other people in chat while I'm playing like my single player games is definitely a lot more fun than just being bored while doing it by myself. I mean like I'm still enjoying the game but it's nice to talk to other people. Now it's all matched up, like my audio and everything, is that what you're talking about? And sorry if you guys can hear me drinking my water. It's important to stay hydrated. there just so we can get a little bit more separation there we go and then we'll buy some of these wow I just realized how much money I've spent while I've been doing this Throw that over there, because I'm just going to take this instead. Stick that there. That probably would have been a better choice for over here as well, but apparently I'm stupid, so. Oh, just like the audio on your end was off? Okay. Alright, I'm going to take these off. You stick them on here. I'm going to buy one more of these big ones. Come on. Oh, it's already open. That's right. What you do is make a straight line of conveyors near the beginning. Put the silo in the middle. Put a refinery. The filter node silo? Well, I mean, yeah. Well, why are these going backwards? Just <laughs> separate these a little bit. There we go, that's better. Just the normal silo. Oh, this thingy. Make a straight line of conveyors near the beginning, put the silo in the middle. Or, straight line of conveyors near the beginning. 
Okay. Oh, commas. Okay. So you make a straight line of conveyors at the beginning, put a silo, and in the middle, put a refinery. Then put the stuff which collects the stuff from your mech. Put a refinery after the normal silo. Okay. Yeah, but I don't want to refine everything. I want to have a mix of raw and refined because I don't, you know, I don't know what kind of materials this stuff needs. Yeah, say so this needs ore. That needs ore. Yeah, so like oleite jelly. Some of this stuff is refined. Yeah, this is. These are all refined things, so I want to be able to have a mix of the two. If I select, okay, so it won't refine everything. So if I select something from the fabricator, will it just call what it needs, and everything that it needs to stay raw will just skip the refinery, and everything that needs to get refined will go through? Nice. Okay. That makes this a whole lot easier. That also means that I have to redo all of this, so that kind of sucks. Okay. So we'll stick that there. Do that. See. Alright. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Especially since that was uh, quite the ordeal there. Okay, so we'll put that there. Put this here. I'm going to have it go this way. Okay, so then I can put this here, put that there. Nice, this will be good. Don't put it on sideways, you dummy. Jeez. Look, how, okay, so how does this look? Good? Okay. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna do this though.
so that's not far enough. Now test it out, make a normal block. Have I faced an invasion yet? Uh, no, I, I've only encountered one and I ran away because I had just died like seven times or something and I really didn't want to face it, so... Okay. There. This should be a good base. I'm gonna head over here. I'll drop these down. <coughs> Okay, I'll go pick up some resources, and then we'll go test that thing out. Dang it. It's stuck on a... Dang it again. Oh, come on! Back here. Looks like the bad guys are gathering. I see bad guys. I just see those two over there. They've been there for a while. They haven't bothered me, which is good. Come on. Uh, why is it so hard? just want this yellow thing over here. There we go. There are four of them? Oh, okay. I guess I wasn't paying that much attention then. things nearby. There's one. We'll get that quick. Okay, this guy's gonna attack me then. guy's an idiot. Internet is killing me. Sorry, man. I'm not, uh... Oh, this is not the green things that I thought they were. So I'm streaming at 720p at 2400 bits per second. I mean, like, it shouldn't be anything too strenuous on your system. Or on your internet. Because I'm not a Twitch partner, I, I can't really do that. What's that guy doing up there?
Oops. Still not seeing any whatevers. Go talk to Crafty Mike quick. Four rubber jellies and four plumbite ore. That's plumbite ore. There should be. Oh, that's oleite jelly. Dang it. Rhodite ore. Okay. I think this thing's a rubber jelly. Yeah. Rubber jellies can usually be found in trees. So there we go. This will get me up to four. I just need to collect this last one. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Yeah, rubber jelly from cheese. Tr cheese? I hope you don't get your rubber from cheese. So dirt we oh so this is basically what I was just trying to do. That's pretty cool. Well hey, so mine should work then. Too bad I spent money on purchasing this stuff though. Resources get past the refinery. Yeah. Knock the crock already told me that. Thanks. Look at that. Making rubber and everything. So they did go in the refinery because the recipe needed refined chunks. Yep. I don't understand what this thing does. Jesus, a wheel hub. You can like put them underneath your thing instead of like on the side or something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah. Nice. Okay. Do this. I'm going to steal all of his stuff. And so... Theoretically, I could also like extend. Oop. Oops. I wanted these to go over here. That's okay. 
theoretically I could extend this here and have like multiples of these platforms. Multiples of these platforms just like holding just a ton of stuff. Normal wheel with more attachments, okay. Alright, so let's see. It's a riser wheel. Just gonna test something quick. Craft one of each. Excuse me. I just want to see if these two things are the same height. can hide wheels inside your mech. Yeah, that's what I was going to try to do. Like, I was actually going to put the... Oh, that rock didn't actually... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Didn't break apart. I was actually just going to see... Like, put the risers on the sides, and then put, like, a row of the wheel hubs underneath. Do like certain trees give you a higher rate of return on certain items? Like the glowy trees, do they give you more rubber or do you not know anything like that? Seems like I need lights on the rear as well. I don't know why I would need lights, I can see just fine. No idea, okay. I feel like that would be a good thing to know when you're looking for that kind of stuff. Didn't know how to get all the eye jelly until now. Yeah, the red ro the red rocks. Come on. Something pick it up. There we go.
Wow, these things really can hold a lot. Holy crap. Making bank though. Uh, so it looks like I need to add another conveyor thing here. Let's pull this one off. Hopefully this doesn't break anything when I do this. Right, so we'll finish this. I still need more rubber jelly, okay. Maybe I should rebuild my vehicle. I think I'm going to rebuild my vehicle now before I continue on with anything else. Run into that quick. Okay, so we gotta set this thing down. Yep. Pull the cab out. rip this whole thing apart. And hopefully I don't get attacked while I'm doing this, because that would be really bad. <clears throat> Try to keep cannons on higher places, more range. Okay. So I want to use the bigger wheels so I have a little bit more height. And I can also put that geothermal generator on there as well. Or you could have some more of them facing rearwards. <sighs> Notice you have some weapons behind each other, which negates the firepower. Yeah, I had all of the front facing ones I had in a tiered layered, so none of them were behind each other. The ones on the sides, 
um, were more for when they like flanked me. So then they would actually be like shooting straight out to the side. Um, more so than trying to shoot behind the other one, which the game doesn't allow them to, so. Isn't the geothermal a base item only? Yeah, I think so. It's not, uh, I was kind of hoping I could use it, but it's not, uh, it won't let me do what I wanted to with it. Okay. So, figure these things. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, they're just gonna get sucked right back up, aren't they? That's. Nope. There we go. Recipe. Oh yeah, that's right. Thank you. Do not go over there. Stop it. There we go. Okay, so now the standard blocks. Put one on the back. Like this first. So he's actually going to be kind of up higher. Press B, start with the big yellow blocks. The yellow blocks for base, okay. Uh, do they have more health? this quick. There we go, like that. Yeah, look at that. Okay, more health, yeah. Um, we're gonna recess this. There we go. It's easier to see what you want to build. So just want to test something. Oh, you can just put it right on the front. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I have four of them now. Put that down, and then I'm gonna stick a shield bubble here. First tires are going to go like this. Try to avoid keeping your guy in the front, keep him in the middle or under. Okay.
I'll stick him here. Whoopsie. We'll put him there. That way he's behind like three whole blocks. Okay, and then I'm just trying to figure out uh, power management. This will give me easy access to all my batteries and stuff. Make the basic frame and wheels first, then build around the frame. Kind of. Um, not exactly sure how I want to do it quite yet, but I know kind of how I want to do it. The I want the same sort of style that the last one was. Uh, with the drills in the front, with a ton of armament to shoot from. That sort of thing. Oh yeah, we want these. There we go, like that. And then have all my like uh, thimble collectors in the back. I could put these here as well. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, I only had one. I thought I had two. That's okay. I think there's a buzz saws on the side, which would be pretty sweet. Excuse me. This can go here. There. And like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be just fine with all of that there. So, uh, next we'll go back to power blocks. that there? Is that where the other one is? Yeah. That there. There we go. So this should cover my entire vehicle. Elevate the turrets into a small circle. They also turn a full 360. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave the cannons up here. Just like that. Which is why they're good at higher positions, okay. So now I want like the collector box blocks. 
Thimble collector. Small industrial use collector. Carry a lot, but only at a slower speed. Okay. Make a U shape with the cannons. Okay. Uh, can cannons shoot over other things? They can? Okay. And they can arc their shots. Yeah, I knew they could arc their shots, but I wasn't sure if they could just like... Like if there is uh, like one of these lasers in front of them, like if they're on the same exact level or plane. Um, like what that would do they could still shoot over. But if they can move this here. We'll do that. And then you can put these two things here again. Like that. There we go. like that. Okay, so now I want to figure out how I want to do the collectors. If something's in front of the cannon, it will only arc its shot. Okay. Can you stack collectors? And will they still collect things? Like that? Will that still work? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm not going to try. Also, I don't think these things will actually be able to grab onto anything. Oh, not that. When they're way up there like that. I'll just do this. Wow, 
Why is this? There we go. I don't know if I actually want to do that, because I still want to put some weapons on the sides and stuff, more than just these two. Six by six or an eight by eight wheel arrangement might be better. Well, how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you mean it had, like, even more wheels than just four like that? How many more wheels do I have? Oh, I have plenty of these. Buzz saw though. Would have been sweet. Excuse me. There we go. That's pretty good. Plenty of frontal firepower, so now I just need some stuff on the sides. Get some weapons on the sides. Maybe put these things? I don't know. Yeah, we'll just put a bunch of these. You should be able to shoot like straight sideways if somebody gets around me. Um, if not. Then we have these. You know what? Let's do this. No. They can't. They can't shoot straight out. These ones then. These ones can shoot sideways. Those ones will be fine. Yeah, I'll leave the ones in the back. Take these ones off. Leave these ones here. So I have all that. 
Because I know they can't shoot forward, but I thought they could just point, like, straight up. You know, like, let's say there's a plane above me, all of these could shoot straight up. But the machine guns on the sides? Can those shoot sideways like that? I had another drill or uh, blade like that. I guess we'll just do this. There, so I know they won't shoot at anything right now. Like, I can go like this, and the machine guns won't do anything, but. Let's go test it out on this guy up here. Oh no, never mind, hold on. Let me charge up my bubble shield and everything first. Oh, two of the machine guns I'm not going to bring with. Because I still need to attach my little block collector somewhere. So... Yep. So once that picks that up, this will have to attach here, so this is where I'll put that. Actually... I'll put it on the other side. Above, slightly above the blade here. So I don't like ruin anything. Oh, geez, I just blew that tree up with one shot. Okay. Oh, and of course now it's now it's nighttime. I can't charge my solar panels. That's cool. But you know what I can do though. I have. Geothermal generator. I have no idea how it works. Attach this generator to a thermal vent to generate free electricity. Look out for smoker rocks. Destroy them to reveal thermal vents. Oh, okay. Put it on the batteries? Um, I could? I don't know. We'll just do this for now, though. use a GSO generator because it uses wood for fuel. Any conveyor belts. Yeah, I was planning on using <coughs> this thing. This is pretty good coverage. Just a 
stick this puppy on there. Just for now. Alright, let's go test this out. So, it just wants to stick it on the bottom. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, what if I do this? There we go. Guess that's how I'm gonna have to do it. You need conveyor belts and batteries attached to the generator. Well, the GSO generator doesn't work unless it's on the ground though, right? Shields. This is awesome. Okay, we're gonna turn sideways and see what happens. Okay, so the machine guns can only turn so far. Machine guns can't point straight up. That's so much easier to pick stuff up. Wow. Yeah, I don't think the... Uh, the generator works unless it's on the ground. I don't think you can carry it around until you get the portable one, because there's a portable one, isn't there? Uh oh. This isn't good. There we go. <laughs> and maybe I should just get two more of these GSO yellow ones instead of all these tiny little collectors. Or Geocore ones, that's alright. So much stuff. It's awesome. Oh, this thing must just be better for cutting wood. want though. I need two more of these thingies, the picker collector. And I can just 
haul everything. Oh yeah, this is much better driving than before. Oh uh, yeah, they're gonna need some of these things. Give you the rubber. I need to get like a couple of these things over here, I think. Make it bank. Okay, so how much do these things cost? Not the fabricator, not that. This thing. 816. We can buy two of those. So I'm just going to replace these four thimble collectors here. another vehicle at some point, which I know it will. <clears throat> Ooh, how much do these things cost? 1305. Oh, man. Twelve sixty. That's all takes up four spaces. I suppose I could do this. I'd like one of those. There we go. I'd say that's a pretty decent vehicle there. Oh, but now I have to 
go like this. Dang it. Uh. Bummer, dude. Alright, guess we're doing that. And I'm not having anything on my right side, so... So, the next thing that I would like to do, I'm not going to do it now, but it would be to expand this area and put the alternating filters on there. So like, different raw resources would each go to a different one of those one of these platforms and then they wouldn't get stuck like they are now which would be good but yeah that'll be for a different day though I think I'm done for the night uh, it's been pretty good. Got my block collector uh, consolidated five bases into one and a half. I mean, they're right next to each other, so we'll just call it one and a half, even though they're completely separate. Um, so next time I'll probably... I'm going to want to basically take this all apart. I'd like to move it away a little bit more, probably to like here. And then expand it, put those uh, filter conveyor nodes on so I can start splitting stuff off into different sections. Excuse me. So then the uh, all of the raw materials won't get just clogged up and congested like they are here. Should be pretty good. So, um, but yeah, and then just work on uh, getting the battery solar power charger array thing, like the one guy that I saw playing this game, which is the reason why I kind of bought it, uh, he first introduced it to me, was he just had like a solar power charging array thing and you literally just drive your vehicle underneath it and it would charge all of your batteries inside of your vehicle and it was awesome. And I really want that. So, yeah, so that's probably... So I'll work on this base first next time, and then I'll go in search of that. So, thanks for the stream. Thanks, Eyes and Wolf. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting. Really appreciate it. Uh, you too, not the croc. Knock the croc. Um, thanks for hanging out. It's fun chatting with you guys. Thanks for all the help, both of you, um, especially on this whole filter. Uh, manufacturing process thing because I it would have taken me a while to figure that out so um, really appreciate it um, if you guys you guys already followed so thanks for that um, if you want the link to my YouTube channels in the description down below you know I me mean? more or better wheels some of the wheels are sparking which implies weight issues yeah I did notice that but um, I haven't gotten the warning sign yet, which is usually when you know that something really bad is going on, so I think it'll be okay. But yeah, if you guys like these, go ahead and click on the link to my YouTube channel down below. Uh, oh, I speak of the devil. Okay, be a little overloaded. I, you know, I don't care. It's whatever. We'll deal with it. Um, but yeah, go to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my channel there. All of my streams get posted and uploaded to that as well um, and that includes some stuff that I do off stream uh, like the uh, the Talos Principle series that I recently played through um, those are each one of those is uploading every single day for the next 18 days um, starting on January 1st so uh, check that out if you want subscribe there 
And uh, you guys have a good night. I'll see you later. Have a good one.